Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, we back, y'all. Mm-hmm. Yo, 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 yo. If they know, they know. It's your boy Smoke News TV, and we back here with another video. But we still in the ATL. Yeah, there's some smoke going on in Atlanta, and we got to talk about it. Jermaine Dupree. Y'all heard what I said. Hold up. Damn, Smoke. Oh, what old head Jermaine got to say? Oh, we're going to talk about it, that part. So make sure y'all smash that like button. Hit that like. That's right there. That like is free. It ain't going to hurt or cost you. Subscribe to the channel. If you have subscribed to the channel, make sure that notification bell is on and share the video. Do me that favor. But most importantly, smash that like button. Smash the like button. It's free. So we back in Atlanta. Obviously, y'all see my last video. We was in Atlanta with the Metro booming situation that was going on with him and his sister. So we still in Atlanta. We still in the A. So A-Town, what up? That part, A-Town down, what up? Because <laughs> we got some smoke to talk about. So anybody in Atlanta, make sure y'all tap in, man. So we got Jermaine Dupree. He basically did an interview, and he kind of said some words about rappers using AI, meaning that using AI rappers that's already not already passed away, like the Biggie Smalls, the Tupac, the Takeoff, the Nipsey Hussle, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Them type of AIs. They're not the AIs that, that's living, no, the AIs that's, that's dead. So he basically mentioned Drake. He was going after Drake. He had a few words towards Drake, saying that what Drake did was absolutely wrong. And it could have got nasty out here in these streets. And Jermaine Dupree is right. And he mentioned Snoop Dogg. Saying that Snoop, oh, you know, Snoop, he, he didn't want to say nothing because he know how crazy it could have got. Nah, that's false. Let's that part. Snoop ain't just, oh, he ain't want to say nothing because he, he knew how nasty it would have got. Nah, we ain't, mm, mm, mm. Jermaine Dupree, I don't agree with you on that. I'm sorry to tell you. Snoop ain't say nothing because Snoop don't care. What we talking about here? Man, listen, we're going to react to the clip. Y'all know how I do. And we're going to react to what Jermaine Dupree had to say. So copyright, fair use, disclaimer. You can find that in my description on my channel. Everything that I speak on over here is for educational entertainment purpose. Again, copyright, fair use, disclaimer. You can find that on my channel. In the description, everything that I speak on over here is for educational entertainment purpose. The clips and videos I play also owned by the original creators. So we got that out the way. We're going to get straight to the point because I felt like this is something to talk about. Because you don't want Snoop involved. Why Snoop? You ain't say why Snoop ain't say nothing. You basically say Snoop ain't say nothing because things could have got a little nasty. Nah. Because people do love Tupac and people probably did oppose Drake or probably gave Drake a call. We don't know. That just could have happened in the back end. What we talking about here? We just fans. Am I lying? So people in the back end of who people that, that Tupac love, and they loved them too, because a lot of people did love Tupac and they still live into this day. Somebody might have called Drake, we don't know. But for him to say Snoop Dogg ain't no Snoop Dogg should have been a top nigga to say something because he got a big voice out here and he's still a superstar. What we talking about here? Why he ain't say nothing? Ain't because he knew that things would have got nasty. No, he ain't say nothing because he don't care, obviously. Let's get to it, man. Smash that like, must subscribe to the channel, like that smoke up. Y'all know how we do over here, man. And I feel like AI, if you're going to use AI, you got to use it in a, in a smart way. Um, because the people that are touching it at this point, they don't understand some of the things that it can damage, right? Because, like, if you look at the, the Drake song where he used Snoop and Tupac's voice, um... I don't think that people listened to that and understood like how serious people take Tupac, right? Now, 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 Snoop might have been Snoop. You know, he didn't really answer to it, yeah. but and I think Snoop understood why he shouldn't answer to it because it could have gotten really dangerous, and that's the part that I feel like people don't understand. I've been through hip hop through every era, so that Tupac era and that Biggie era. I was there. Absolutely, you was there. Absolutely. Shout out to J. Shout out to JD. We ain't done. Smash that like button. You see the like right there? 
Now we're gonna play it again because the volume, you gotta play y'all volume, put that volume up. Now I mean put a little things in the background down because I gotta hear what you mean Dupree trying to say. Because the the, the, the audio is kind of like uh you get what I'm saying? So I'm gonna I'm gonna play it again and we're gonna get to the next clip. But he absolutely was right, he was there. They was trying to say Shug was talking about JD at the Source Awards when he was like, yo, if you don't want to be all in the videos, you don't want to be dancing all in the videos. They was talking about, he was talking about JD. No, he wasn't. Shug was talking about Puff. What are we talking about here? But JD was involved in that era. He seen how nasty that word got between that Tupac and that Biggie era. Y'all got to remember, somebody passed away at JD Club. That's how that beef popped off. Y'all forget, I think it was Wolf on um, Puffy Man. Or it, matter of fact, it was either Wolf or it was one of Suge niggas that died first. It might have been one of Suge on um, close homies that died first. And then that's when, and that was JD Club. At the time, that was JD Club. So we're going to go back to the clip, man. Smash that like button. Because I got a lot to say to Drake. And I feel like AI, if you're going to use AI, you got to use it in a, in a smart way. Um, because... The people that are touching it at this point, they don't understand some of the things that it can damage, right? Because like, if you look at the the Drake song where he used Snoop and Tupac's voice, um, I don't think that people listened to that and understood like how serious people take Tupac, right? Now, 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 Snoop might have been, Snoop, you know, he didn't really answer to it, yeah. but, and I think Snoop understood why he shouldn't answer to it because it could have gotten really dangerous. And that's the part that I feel like people don't understand. I've been through hip hop, through every era. So that Tupac era and that Biggie era, I was there. That shit is real dangerous. It's not about like, this ain't no play, play too. You know, Instagram shit, like, and it's people that really live that life, right? And they really live by that life. And the fact that you feel like you could just use Tupac voice and have him saying that yeah, yeah, shit on him like that, yeah. and and don't and don't give us some kind of, um, you know, a little hey, this is just a rap song, da da da. You gotta do like when BMF come on, like. Yeah. So you gotta give us a little this is you know disclaimer. Yeah, disclaimer, right? To not do that and just think you're just gonna keep jumping on the internet and do things with people's voices and to me that's that's it's ignorance. So that's one side of it. But then but do you see it as a tool like I mean Metro made BBL Drizzy, which that's AI. That's yeah. AI that to Well he didn't make it, he sampled it. He sampled it, but it's AI. Yeah. So you see how dude try to take up for Drake? Do me a hold up, smash that like button if you happen to smash the like if you just joined in the joining the video. Smash the like button. Do me that favor. Subscribe too. And make sure y'all comment below because I want to hear y'all theory and y'all opinion. Now you heard dude trying to defend it. Oh nah, but hold up. There's two sides. But hold up. Metro Boone used the AI, whatever, and but Metro Boone ain't put a voice. He sampled. He sampled the beat. That's what Metro Boone did with the BBL Drizzy, whatever. It wasn't no whole nigga dropping bars and all that. What we talking about? That's why I say these dudes, they be on Drake, man. Listen, get on Drake lap, nigga, that part. Because JD do got a point what he said. The shit that Drake did was straight up ignorant. You don't use somebody from the, that was repping the West Coast before he passed away to diss a West Coast nigga that was born and raised over there. Meaning Kendrick Lamar, meaning you using Tupac, put him in a song. I even found out kind of, I even find that weird and strange. I'm like, yo, what the hell is this nigga? That's why I say, yo, he lost that between him and Kendrick. Because you don't do that, my nigga. That's like Quavo using takeoff. What we talk? Mm. I'm going to let that marinate. Smash that like button while y'all at it. Like that smoke up. Y'all know the vibe. That's like Quavo using Takeoff when he was beefing with Chris Brown. Man, may Takeoff rest in peace, may Tupac rest in peace. But let me tell you something, Takeoff was looking down like, boy, if you, boy, you serious? You using my voice while I'm dead? I'm up here chilling, nigga, know all this and that. You over there, like, just to go against the R&B nigga, Chris Brown? Like, what? That ain't fine. That's what I'm trying to say here, man. These niggas ain't talented. These niggas' bars be weak. 
Y'all using AI, damn people thinking that shit is cool. That shit ain't cool. That's ignorant. Forget Quavo because that's his nephew. He could do whatever he want on, on with his nephew thing. But Drake, nigga, you ain't no Tupac. You never grew up with Tupac, nigga. You like what we talking about? Here? And you got the audacity, the audacity to put this nigga, put him on your diss on the diss on Kendrick Lamar. Nigga, it could have been nasty work for you out here. What we talking about here? That's why I believe somebody in the back end gave that nigga that phone call. What he need to do is take that song down. I don't even know if that song's still up. The one where he got Tupac up on it. Let's go back to that second clip that on um, um, that JD was talking about, though, man. Smash that like button. This young is crazy, man. That's why I said, Drake, man, you terrible for that, nigga. That shit is real dangerous. It's not about, like, this ain't no play, play, too. You know, Instagram shit. Like, and it's people that really live that life, right? And they really live by that life. And like JD said, there's people that still love Tupac, that still scream thug life, nigga. Old head niggas, what we talk? Y'all got to remember, we talking about a West Coast. West Coast is different. Them old head niggas was groomed to the game banging. They was born to it. They was raised in it. All that. What we talking about here? I'm talking about the older cats. Niggas that's like in the Tupac age, like the, I mean, 50 and all that. But dumb niggas. And the niggas that's even a little bit older. Them niggas is, them niggas, some of these old men, how many times I seen them West Coast videos and all that? Y'all seen the little, the little vlogs on the YouTube and you see them old head niggas be like 55 niggas still looking like they active. They might not be active, but they're still part of the family. And they still bust you in your head if you say something crazy to them, nigga. That part, what we talking about here? Cali, tap in. Them niggas know I ain't lying, nigga. Them old head niggas will bust you in your head, nigga, if you say something crazy to them. Don't think because they ain't acting, they won't knock, they won't, they won't, they won't knock your head off up out of here. Put you to sleep. What I mean, what I'm trying to say is, yo, when you going with the old head shit, don't smoke. What I'm trying to say is, you got niggas that still love Tupac. The mob niggas out in Cali, them come, them MOB. Come on, what we talking about? The niggas that he was running with. A lot of the niggas are still grown, living, and healthy, nigga. And they love some Tupac. What we talking about here? People all over the goddamn world love Tupac. And you got the audacity to put an AI Tupac on there to diss a West Coast nigga that was born and raised in West Coast? Drake, you terrible. That's why JD probably said, man, I can't hold this thing no more. And I got to say this. Because JD came from that era. He seen a lot of damage and a lot of niggas lose their lives and all that. Even Atlanta was getting, he seen it. That Biggie and Tupac shit, that junk was getting, that junk was just in the East Coast and the West Coast. That junk was all over. People was, people was on Pac's side, man. They didn't meet Tupac a day of their goddamn life, nigga. They seen somebody that was repping Biggie and East Coast, nigga. They was smashing on them niggas. What we talking about here? That's how nasty that word got in that era. I just hear, I just had to let y'all know because I was, I was in that era. I was just a younger. So we used to see it on the magazines, TVs, breaking news, BT, MTV. Yeah, so niggas was going. Let me tell y'all something. They was going hard for Pac, nigga. And how dare you use Pac on the A out of this old nigga that was born and raised in Cal? You got the audacity to do that. That shit is crazy. Pardon me. Let's go back to JD had to say, though. Let's go back from the beginning. And I feel like AI. If you're gonna use AI, you gotta use it in a in a smart way, um, because the people that are touching it at this point, they don't understand some of the things that it can damage, right? Because like, if you look at the the Drake song where he used Snoop and Tupac's voice, um, I don't think that people listen to that and understood like how serious people take Tupac, right? Now, now, now Snoop might have been, Snoop, you know, he didn't really answer to it, yeah. but, and I think Snoop understood why he shouldn't answer to it because it could have gotten really dangerous. And that's the part that I feel like people don't understand. I've been through hip hop, through every era. So that Tupac era and that Biggie era, I was there. 
that shit is real dangerous. It's not about like this ain't no play play to you know Instagram shit. Like and it's people that really live that life, right? And they really live by that life. And the fact that you feel like you could just use Tupac voice and have him saying that yeah, yeah, shit on him like that. Yeah. And and don't and don't give us some kind of um you know a little hey this is just a rap song da 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 you gotta do like when BMF come on like yeah. you, know saying? you gotta give us a little this is you know disclaimer yeah disclaimer right to not do that and just think you're just gonna keep jumping on the internet and do things with people's voices and to me that's that's it's ignorance. So that's one side of it. But then but do you see it as a tool like I mean, Metro made BBL Drizzy, which, that's AI. That's yeah. AI. That t- well, he didn't make it. He sampled it. He sampled it, but it's AI. You telling a nigga that make beats and all that. Oh, but it's AI, though. It's, it's from a dead person. But yeah, but, 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 but Metro Boom made, but, but he made BBL Drizzy. That's AI. Man, listen, get off Drake lap. Let's get to that part. What we talking about here? Yeah, that part. Man, listen, Drake did worse. He used a whole voice, man. And for Snoop Dogg and I... Oh, no. That's my point, yo. Snoop ain't gonna come out and say nothing because Snoop, he, on his, he in his last legs right now. He trying to enjoy his life. He ain't got but so many goddamn years, know what I mean? So he trying to enjoy life. He ain't got time for drama. But Snoop don't care. That's my point. I don't made a video with saying that Snoop and Pac relationship wasn't the best. That part. And when Pac died, obviously Snoop... Go check my video out, man. With the Snoop Dogg and all that. Go check that video out, man. The Biggie Smalls and all that. I'm, go check my videos out. Yeah, that part. Because Snoop ain't had no relationship with Pop before he passed away. They was on bad terms, man. Niggas wasn't kumbaya, best friends. Pop couldn't stand that nigga, allegedly. And everything I speak on is allegedly, man. Allegedly. Everything I speak on is allegedly. But what we talking about here? Come on, man. Smash that like button. That's why I said, man, you can't discredit JD because JD was dead. And JD could speak on things like this. Nah, but what JD talking about? JD is the pioneer. He's a trendsetter. He but he the one that got he the one that popped ATL, man. What we talking about here? J.D. been in hip-hop since he was a goddamn kid. He was a little 15, 16-year-old on tour with Run D.N.C. and seen them niggas. 19, 18 years old. Come on. Everybody know J.D., man. J.D. was J.D. is Puff before Puff. That's who Puff wanted to be like, nigga. J.D., nigga. But Puff took his to a whole nother level. That part, what we talking about here? But J.D. was dead when the beef happened. He seen bodies get knocked off. He seen all that. He seen things happen in Cali when he was out there and all that. Because JD wasn't in that mix. But he seen it with his eyes. <laughs> Allegedly. And everything we speak on over here is alleged. Come on, man. That's why I say that boy, man, he wrong, man. He wrong. Yeah, but Metro Boom Boom got me. He beat the beat me out, man. Get off Drake like that dude, man. You ain't got... That's how I know he had to come back and say something. That's why JD looking at him like, yo, he did a sample. What you talking about? He ain't do a whole death song like how Drake did with the Tupac AI. And then got the nerve to diss the nigga, Kendrick Lamar, nigga that was born and raised in goddamn LA, Compton, whatever. Man, you can't make this up, bro. You can't make this up. You just can't. That's why I said I had to do a video about this. Y'all know I was coming with, because I'm like, yo, he brought up Snoop, too. Snoop and, and, man, listen, man, Snoop was already jealous, man. He was jealous of that nigga since, man, everybody know that. When I did that Snoop video, everybody in the comment was commenting on that, man. Everybody peep how Snoop was jealous, man. Everybody know that. That ain't no myth. Pac came there less than a year and smashed Death Row. Gave us history, gave us memories, records on Death Row less than a year. And he called them niggas lazy, allegedly. And everything we speak on over here is allegedly. He called them niggas lazy. Them niggas, there wasn't no competition over there for Pop. What we talking about here? That's why I laughed. Hey, that's why I laughed when JD said that because I'm like, yo, JD got a point. He probably looking at Snoop like you should have said something. I don't know if Snoop said something in the back end now. We don't know that. 
But nigga, make him take that song down. If anybody know that song still up with Pop on there with that AI, man, he, he terrible if he still got that song going. He terrible. Drake, man, you horrible, man. For real, man. Like, man, that's terrible work, bro. What you did, what you did, man. Like, come on. Quavo too. You let an R and B nigga body beat you in your own sport. What we talking about? You had to take, you had to bring Takeoff, nigga, and bring him on dance track. May take off, rest in peace. You already, you already did damage as it is going out there, bringing them out there with no, with, with no security or nothing, man. That's a whole nother story, though. We're going to get to that again, man. So, Quavo, you terrible, too, for you to take off AI. What are we talking about? To go against an R&B dude that, that basically beat you in your own sport. Shout out to CB Chris Brown, man. Nigga murdered on Quavo on that track, man. Came back distant. Man, 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 listen, man. You terrible, Quavo. But y'all already know the vibes, man. Y'all know how I'm coming, man. Y'all know how I'm coming. Make sure y'all smash that like button, though. Do me that favor. Comment it below and tell me Drake ain't terrible for that dude. JD do got a point. What he say? And JD could speak because he was dead. He an OG in this rap game. Y'all love hip hop. JD is an old. He's an OG in this hip hop man. He gave us. He gave us memories, tracks. I mean, he gave us all that nigga over there. So so dead. What we talking about here? So he got a right to speak. <laughs> Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Share this video. Keep your notification bell on. Y'all already know how I do. And make sure y'all comment in below so I can react to what y'all saying. Because Drake is terrible for what he did. Straight up. And JD is absolutely right. That's why I had to do this video. So shout out to JD for even putting that in the air. These rappers need to cut it out with that. Seriously. Use your own bars. Handle your own beef. That part. It's your boy Smoke News TV, man. Y'all already know the vibes. I'm up out of here, man. Mm-mm-mm.